Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing humpback whales. The humpback whale gets its common name from the obvious dorsal fin that protrudes from its back. Each individual humpback whale has a unique dorsal fin, and this, along with the ridges and patterns along their tail, helps researchers and observers identify individual humpbacks. They also get their common name from their behavior of forming a hump in their back before making a dive. Like all whales, humpback whales are mammals. Among the mammals alive today, humpback whales make some of the longest migrations. A single trip from feeding waters to breeding waters can reach over 3,000 miles. And all of this can be traversed in just a month's time. Though there are always exceptions, and humpback whales living in the Arabian Sea don't migrate and remain in the same place year-round. Humpback whales are found in almost all parts of the oceans around the world, and they have even been seen traveling up rivers and into bays. These are generally a coastal species, though their travels can take them far from land. The humpback whale is a baleen whale. It has plates of baleen that hang from its upper jaw and trap prey inside. The humpback whale has grooves along its throat down past its pectoral fins, which you might call its flippers. These grooves allow the whale to expand its mouth wide and take in lots of seawater. Like other mammals, a humpback whale can't swallow a lot of seawater. It would dehydrate them. So they push the seawater out of their mouth through the baleen. Small animals that were in the seawater can't pass through the baleen. So they become trapped in the whale's mouth and are then swallowed once the seawater has all been expelled. This is how all baleen whales eat. They're giant filter feeders. Fascinatingly, these whales, being some of the largest animals alive, eat some of the smallest animals there are. Krill make up a portion of a humpback whale's diet, and they also eat other small animals that get caught in their maw, like fish and cephalopods. Surprisingly, these gigantic animals don't eat throughout the entire year. An adult humpback whale ranges in length from 36 to over 50 feet long. That's about the length of a school bus, or even longer at their largest size. Females who have to take care of their young are the largest. Humpback whales are unique in the whale world for having the longest pectoral fins of all whale species. A humpback whale's flippers can reach almost a third of their entire length, meaning they can be upwards of 15 feet long. That's about the length of your average car. So next time you're standing next to a sedan or small SUV, remember that a humpback whale's flipper would reach from its front bumper to its back. While you're at it, consider that newborn humpback whales reach the same length. And while humpback whales don't quite compete with the largest living animal, the blue whale, they can certainly still boast as some of the heavyweights of the world. On average, an adult humpback weighs 35 tons, which is about the same as six full-grown African elephants. Even with all this weight, humpback whales stop eating for periods of time. While in their breeding waters, some humpback whales stop eating entirely. The colder waters where they feed are rich in food, but the tropical waters where they breed don't offer the same fare. Generally speaking, Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere humpback whales do not interact with one another. Their migrations are opposite as the seasons in the hemispheres are opposite. This can even be seen in their appearance, where southern hemisphere humpback whales have more white patterns along their sides compared to the darker northern hemisphere humpbacks. Humpback whales travel to their tropical breeding waters during winter and spend the coldest parts of the year in the warmest parts of the world. Here, they'll court, mate, and give birth. 
humpback whale males use their song to court females. Their songs are specific and unique to different parts of the world. This means that a humpback from the northern Pacific will have a different song from a southern Indian ocean-dwelling humpback. Here is an example of the humpback whale's song. Did you know only the male humpback whales sing? In a specific population, this song changes only slightly over time. The song lasts about half an hour and is repeated for hours on end to entice a group of females. Like sea lions, male humpback whales compete for a harem of ladies with which to mate. Humpback whales reach reproductive maturity around five years of age but males may take longer to actually begin breeding because of this competition. Humpback whales congregate in breeding grounds to mate and feeding grounds to catch food, but in general, they travel alone or spaced far apart. A female gestates for almost a year. She will then spend the next year focused on raising her baby and avoid breeding so female humpback whales only breed every other year. Her baby nurses anywhere from 6 to 10 months. Their mother's milk helps them grow substantially in their first year, and her protection keeps them safe from potential predators. Humpback whale milk is upwards of 60% fat. For comparison, human milk is about 2% fat. Predators who attack a young humpback or even a weak adult include killer whales, false killer whales, and sharks. Humans also pose a threat to humpback whales. Whaling caused huge population losses to all whale species and has since been outlawed in most parts of the world. Humans still harm these giant animals, however, through run-ins with boats, entanglement in fishing gear, and water pollution. While it's unknown how long a humpback whale can live, it's estimated they may survive 50 to 80 years old. Because they're mammals, humpback whales require air to breathe. They take in and release air through blowholes on the top of their head, which kind of act like a nose. Though it should be noted that humpback whales have a terrible, if any, sense of smell. Here's an example of a humpback whale blowhole in action. They can reach top swimming speeds over 15 miles per hour, but average something closer to 5 miles per hour. They most frequently remain towards the water surface, diving to about 20 feet below the waves, though they can dive deeper. These dives last anywhere from 4 to 20 minutes. Something cool about humpback whales is that they have a fascinating feeding strategy known as bubble net feeding. These mammals will swim below a large population of prey and release bubbles in a circle around the prey. This traps the prey in a single spot. The whale, or whales if it's a group effort, then swims up from below the prey with a wide open mouth and takes in as much seawater as it can fit. This is a quick way to consume a lot of food all at once. In a single day, one adult humpback whale may eat more than a ton of food. Some other awe-inspiring humpback whale behavior involves their breaching. Like great white sharks, humpback whales can jump fully out of the water. The whale swims up fast and propels itself over the water's surface before splashing back down on its back. It's not fully understood why humpback whales do this. It may be part of mating, but then that doesn't explain why young whales perform this behavior. It may just be for fun. For more facts on humpback whales, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. 
Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.